Hi, I'm Jen Guile with Nginx Product Marketing, and I'm here today to give you a demo of how to architect your Kubernetes clusters for high traffic websites using Nginx Ingress Controller, Promethea, and Kata. So what we're gonna be doing here is deploying the Ingress Controller to um, expose an app in Kubernetes, and then we will um, simulate some traffic hitting that app and use Prometheus to inspect how the uh, ingress controller responds to the traffic, and then Kata to auto-scale Nginx ingress controller pods based on how much traffic is hitting your ingress controllers. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is spin up a cluster using Minikube. This can take um, up to 10 to 15 seconds. All right, we are there. Now that I have my Minikube cluster stood up, I'm going to deploy a simple app. To do that, I need to create a YAML file that is going to define my deployment and the service. So let's take a look at what this contains. The top half here, top third, is uh, details for the deployment. And the bottom part is the service. So we'll save that and come over here and we will use the command kubectl apply to apply that new file to our cluster. And so it says that deployment.apps slash pod info has been created. That's our app is pod info service slash pod info created. Now I'm going to confirm that my pod or um, my app is deployed by going over to the app and refreshing it. And this happy little cuttlefish is an indicator that my app has successfully deployed. Now that we have a cluster stood up and an app deployed, we need to expose that app to the outside world. There are lots of ways to do that. Uh, one of the most ideal ways is with an ingress controller because not only does it give you the um, traffic management capabilities, but you can also use that ingress controller for visibility purposes, which I'll demonstrate later, as well as security and resilience. We are using Nginx ingress controller uh, maintained by F5 Nginx, and I am going to deploy it using Helm. Okay, it's been added to the repo and now I will download and install it into the cluster. So if I'm successful, which I am, I should see status deployed and the Nginx ingress controller has been installed. Now I'm gonna verify that it's running. I'm gonna use the kubectl get pods to look at the Nginx ingress pod. And what I see here is the pod under ready, I have one out of one that's telling me how many pods are there. So one out of one pod is ready, it's running. Good news. Now that I have my ingress controller stood up, I need to route traffic to the app. That requires an ingress manifest. So I'll come back over and create the manifest. Okay, let's take a look what's here. We have our ingress it's telling us what the host is and the port. We'll save that. And again, come over and apply it using kubectl apply. And it's told us that it's been created. Now I'm going to confirm that my app is receiving the traffic. Come over here. Refresh, and again, we see our happy cuttlefish, which tells us our app is now connected to the outside world using Nginx Ingress Controller. Okay, now we have the Ingress Controller deployed. It is bringing traffic in, but what happens if we have a big increase in that traffic? How are we going to manage that? How are we going to make sure that our customers don't have degraded service? So what you need in order to have that kind of information is visibility. How are you gonna get the visibility? We have metrics. 
And so Nginx Ingress Controller exposes a number of metrics. It depends on the version that you are using as to which metrics you get. So if you're using Nginx open source, which is what I'm using for this demo, you get eight metrics. If you're using Nginx Plus, which is our commercial offering, then you get quite a few more metrics. So I am going to use um, Prometheus in order to scrape those metrics. To do that, I am going to, um, I need to get the IP address of Nginx Ingress Controller. So I'm going to create a temporary pod, keep pedal get pods. And I can see here's my IP address right here, 172.17.0.4. And so I can pull that over into my notes and I'm gonna create that temporary pod. So I'm getting a shell on a machine inside Kubernetes and I'm going to submit this command that has the IP address in it. We get quite a bit of information here. This tells you about the metrics that this particular ingress controller can expose. And so you're probably wondering at this point, what do I do with this? Which metrics are important? If you are interested in auto scaling and you want to ensure that Nginx Ingress Controller can be um, expanded to handle the load, then what you wanna be looking at is Nginx Connections Active, which you'll see here as um, one of the top ones. Nginx Ingress underscore Nginx Connections Active. So that is ideal because it keeps track of the number of requests actively being processed, which is gonna help you identify when a pod needs to scale. So I will type exit here to get out of this and that'll destroy my temporary pod. And so now that we know which metric it is that we wanna use, we're gonna go um, install Prometheus. If you're not familiar with Prometheus, it is a very popular open source tool by the CNCF or from the CNCF for monitoring and alerting. Nginx Ingress Controller offers these metrics that are useful for visualization and troubleshooting. They're often exported to something like Grafana so you can get things like um, historical views of your traffic. So I am going to use Helm again to install Prometheus. So I've added to my repo and installing now. They get this whole thing and that tells me that it's installed. Now I'm going to come over and make sure Prometheus is connected. And I will warn you, it usually takes about 30 seconds from when this command goes through to when Prometheus will actually respond. So I will click refresh knowing that I'm still gonna get the bad gateway error. So we'll wait about 30 more seconds and try again. Okay, Prometheus has loaded. So this is what you should see for the dashboard. You'll remember that the metric we were gonna be looking for was the Nginx active connections. So I'll put that in the search bar, execute. And what I should see is that there is one pod here, which makes sense because that's all I've deployed. It's very hard to see because it hasn't been running very long. If you were to deploy this um, after you've been running for a while, you're definitely gonna see more. Uh, so for this purpose, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this down to one minute so you can see there's our little pod, one active connection. Okay, next we're going to install Locust for the purposes of simulating um, different traffic levels. So what Locust can do is it can um, increase the traffic hitting your pods. So again, I need to Come over here and create a YAML file. Uh, I need to create a pod for the load generator. Okay, let's see what we have here. We've got a Python script, which is going to, um, uh, it reads that Python script, which is stored in a config file and that's pretty much it. So we'll save. And again, come back over to apply it using kubectl apply. We see config map created, deployment created, service created. 
Now it's time to go over and use Locus to scale. It tends to respond a bit faster than Prometheus. There it is. So you have three parameters that you can adjust as you are simulating a traffic surge. You can change number of users. So that's how many people are concurrently visiting your app. You can change the spawn rate. So that's how many users start per second and then the host. So I am gonna start us off with a thousand users at the same time, a spawn rate of 10 and our host is that ingress pod. So as you can see, our traffic is beginning to increase, but where it gets interesting is if you come back over to the Prometheus tab, execute again, and let me go that way. Oh, it doesn't look like it refreshed. Let's try that again. Uh, it is flat. I must have done something wrong. Let's take a look over here. That seems happy. Oh, there's our spike. I was impatient. So here's where we started and here's our great big traffic spike. So our poor single ingress controller pod is really struggling to keep up with all those active connections. We need more. So the next thing we'll do is auto scale using Kata. So just to recap where we've been, we've deployed a cluster and a single simple app. We've used Nginx Ingress Controller to expose that app to the outside world. We then loaded up that app with a ton of traffic and watched uh, Prometheus uh, demonstrate how that single Ingress Controller pod struggles to keep up with the increase in traffic. Now for our final section, we will be auto-scaling the ingress controller pods to cope with that traffic. So for this task, I'm going to use Kata, which is a Kubernetes event-driven auto-scaler. That's what it stands for. So one of the most compelling features is that it integrates a metric server and can consume metrics directly from Prometheus, which is why we're using it. So again, here comes the helm. And I'm successful, status deployed. To verify that it's running, I'm gonna use kubectl get pods so I can see all of the pods that I've deployed. Now, just following our recap, we have the two new Kata pods at the beginning. It looks like they're not quite ready spinning up. We can see zero of one ready, container creating here. Our locust pod is still running. We have our Nginx ingress controller pod. Pod info is our app. And then we have all the Prometheus stuff. I'm going to go ahead and run it again to see. Yep. So we're starting to catch up a little bit here with, um, with Kata. Kata's catching up with us, rather. So the next thing we do is configure the auto scaling object. I'm going to come back over here. And while I'm doing this, Kata should fully deploy or fully spin up, rather. Okay, this is probably the most interesting thing that we're going to be demonstrating. It is the instructions to Kata on what to do with Nginx Ingress Controller. So as the traffic increases based on the Nginx active connections down here, every 100 users, it will spawn a new Nginx Ingress Controller or replicate rather. And so the lowest number it can have is one. We never want to go below one. And we've decided the max replica count we're going to set is 20. Now it's totally up to you what you set for the max count and for your threshold. It's really based on how you observe your traffic and um, ultimately how many pods you can afford to be running based on your underlying resources. So we can see this is all going through Prometheus. So I will save that. 
come back and let's apply it again using kubectl apply. And there it is, created. Now it's time to test the auto scaling. So we'll go back to Prometheus. It has forgotten our um, metric that we were looking at earlier, which is not unusual. So I'm gonna go ahead and execute again. And so you'll see there's 978 results now because we've been letting it run for a little bit. Oops, there we go. So if I zoom in, in terms of time, we can see what it's been doing since we last looked. So this is when we were originally deployed the pod, had no traffic going through it. Then we started increasing the traffic using Locust and it's kind of leveled out here. I am going to go ahead and change the Locust parameters. So I'll stop, run a new test and I'm gonna change this to 2000 users, a spawn rate again of 10, start. And let's give it a second. Okay, so we see our users rising. I'm gonna come back to Prometheus. I am going to execute this command again. And what you'll notice, it's a little subtle, is down here in this bottom corner, we start to see a whole bunch of new lines. So I will zoom in on those. since they were all created in the last minute. So you can start to see these are all your new auto-scaled Nginx ingress controller pods. And they're way down here because they're much happier carrying a much lower load of traffic. So you can have all these pods running and your users are happy. So how does this work? What's happening behind the scenes? Um, Kata is collecting the metrics uh, from Prometheus and then feeds them into Kubernetes. It creates a horizontal pod auto scaler with those metrics. And you can inspect it manually with the command kubectl get HPA. So this shows us our deployment. We have our um, auto scaling policy here. Again, these numbers should exactly match what you set up in your um, YAML file at the beginning. So a minimum of one pod, a max of 20. And it's telling you how many replicas are currently out there. And that's it. You have seen how to use Nginx Ingress Controller to expose a simple app and then visualize uh, the health of that Ingress Controller and thereby also extrapolating the experience of your visitors, your traffic using Prometheus and the metrics provided by Nginx Ingress Controller. And then you used Kata in order to um, auto scale the pods to meet the demand. So this is really valuable. It can both auto scale up so that you can uh, avoid latency and errors. And then of course it auto scales down so that you're not wasting a whole bunch of resources when you don't have any traffic at your site. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you'd like to learn more, visit the microservices March content on nginx.com.